name is uh, Tatiana Kecevic. Uh, I'm a data scientist. I've got a PhD in statistics from the University of Manchester. Spent many years working uh, as a senior lecturer at the University in UK. And a couple of years ago, uh, I came back uh, here to Serbia uh, with the idea to uh, empower women uh, within the discipline of data science. Um, I have recently uh, set it up uh, NGO. A sister analyst uh, with the idea of uh, helping people to uh, get uh, better data literate, uh, in particular women and young people. Um, when did you come back? I came back about a uh, year and a half ago uh, and uh, my first uh, port of call was uh, started uh, where I started uh, with the Our Ladies Initiative uh, for Belgrade. I've already uh, I uh, was doing that uh, over back in UK uh, with Our Ladies Manchester uh, and uh, I came across a really enthusiastic group of people and uh, we started with a few more initiatives like ClickR where we were running um, workshops for young people uh, showing them how to um, get into the world of data science. Uh, well, basically, as I said, uh, recently I've just started, uh, uh, we've just set it up uh, an NGO, uh, Sister Analyst, uh, for empowering uh, women and young people uh, with uh, data science, uh, data literacy, uh, and empowering them in within their disciplines through the data literacy. Um, I have been actively involved uh, with initiatives uh, where um, education is uh, the key thing of um, uh, doing so for female and young people. Um, I have been actively involved uh, running uh, workshops and uh, really um, educational um, business uh, within Serbia. Yes, uh, I uh, finished here uh, Faculty of Organizational Science uh, where I have got my background into programming and with that uh, I um, ended up uh, going to UK and uh, got an opportunity uh, to uh, study uh, a PhD course in statistics. Uh, I was doing that as part-time. Uh, I've uh, managed to get a job in the meantime as a lecturer at the university and uh, I was doing it in parallel, uh, teaching and studying for my PhD. Um, what made you come back here? Uh, family circumstances. Uh, I've got a two-year-old girl, oh, well, now <laughs> it's five-year-old. Uh, it was She was two-year-old when we were started to comp uh, contemplate about uh, coming here, um, because otherwise she would have started school at age four, which we thought is a bit too early. Uh, and uh, my husband being English and with everything that's going on with Brexit, uh, we just thought uh, it would be a nice uh, change of uh, environment uh, for us to move back to Serbia with a little girl. Uh, but most of all, I had the desire to set myself free from the world of academia and start doing something of my own, uh, seeing it how it could be done through the initiatives uh, such as Our Ladies. My average work day would be uh, I um, take my little girl to school, so I have the luxury of working from home. Uh, so I take her to her nursery and then I get back, uh, make a big cup of coffee, sit at my computer and uh, work till about lunchtime. Um, then I usually have a little break, go for a cup of coffee or um, meet up with people that uh, I often collaborate with. Uh, and then uh, go back and carry on working um, till about 4 o'clock when I go to pick my daughter up from school. Uh, how did you get into data science? Was it your primary choice? Or? Uh, I was always um, uh, keen on uh, science um, and uh, through the school education I really liked maths, physics. So it was inevitable that I would have ended up in that world, but somehow I was driven into a world of programming. Um, I was first generation uh, in high schools that were offered uh, gymnasiums with um, 
programming stream, maths programming. So I really liked uh, mathematical computing. And um, that was the reason why I ended up uh, uh, studying at the Faculty of Organizational Science. Although at the time, uh, that faculty wasn't so popular for people who were keen on science. Nonetheless, I think that was a really good choice. I really enjoyed it. I uh, met some fantastic uh, people uh, during my studying. Uh, I'm still friends with many of them uh, now. And um, it gave me a really good foundation for um, pursuing that mathematical path uh, while doing a PhD in statistics. I had a really good computational background uh, that inevitably led me into that statistical computing, i.e. data science. Yes, I have like um, comments like you know, um, like uh, setting up our ladies. It's um, it comes across to some male-dominated culture of data scientists uh, as simpaticus. <laughs> so you kind of have that kind of, uh, in a way, kind of sometimes not always derogative kind of attitude. Uh, but I think it's really important for those initiatives to exist and to acknowledge. Um, the challenges that women do have to face uh, in their everyday life. Uh, for me, uh, it was important, uh, becoming a mom in my 40s, uh, to have that luxury to devote my time to my girl, but also carry on working. And that flexibility that you can do uh, as data scientist, uh, uh, you can afford to, to have uh, in your job is, is fantastic. Uh, so really, data scientist jobs are not jobs that uh, would have to be uh, from nine to five, but uh, you really get a task and you get on with it. And uh, it's a world where people are collaborating and uh, it's very important to have that network uh, of uh, people who support working moms and in general um, women uh, with challenges that they have to face. I have noticed change uh, through uh, women being more empowered and uh, through initiatives such as women in data science, uh, women in machine learning, our ladies, etc., etc. Um, and uh, machine learning is not anymore perceived as a macho term, uh, as uh, often used to be, uh, but rather uh, there is a acknowledgement uh, of how skillful and uh, thorough women could be in delivering uh, tasks uh, of uh, data science. Uh, can you tell us more about our ladies? I found that you are a uh, founder in Manchester and Belgrade and in Odessa. Yeah. Um, was it easier for people in Manchester to accept this initiative or how? Well, um, every, every beginning uh, is difficult. Uh, we, we had that difficulties of finding a space and uh, conveying to people what our lady is supposed to be. Uh, but um, with the time, uh, it really kind of gradually uh, became recognizable and uh, we were supported from local businesses and the same uh, more or less is happening here. And we started uh, last uh, spring, um, uh, the same initiative in Novi Sad. Um, in Manchester, where we, when we started, uh, our biggest challenge was to find the space uh, where where can we when, where we run uh, initiative like that. So university was obvious port of call. Uh, so we've got the space at university, but then we had an issue of uh, buildings being locked after six, and clearly the initiative was to support uh, working women, uh, which meant that we would have had to run those uh, workshops after five o'clock. Uh, we started back in 2016 after um, the initiative really uh, has started uh, from uh, and got support from uh, our community uh, at uh, Use Our Conference in Stanford. So as soon as I've uh, heard uh, about the idea, I uh, obviously jumped uh, on the board and uh, over there I already made some contacts and uh, as soon as I got back into UK, 
uh, was working on setting it up uh, over in Manchester. Um, how was the initiative here in Belgrade? Uh, it's, it's good. Um, uh, we always have a good response. Uh, we have a group of uh, women, girls, who are uh, supportive and who do like to come and like to present and uh, are always enthusiastic learning about uh, new things that people present. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what do you think is the best part of being a woman in the industry? Best part is uh, that uh, you can multitask. So you can kind of uh, have many windows on your computer and your screen open and still know uh, which one is for what. Um, it's uh, nice that you have um, that support from other women uh, now uh, those initiatives uh, are blooming and uh, there are more and more and it's uh, nice to know that uh, you have a group of women you can always uh, chat to and uh, exchange some ideas about the projects you're working on or even uh, just general everyday uh, challenges you come across. Uh, there, there is um, some progress. Uh, some progress has been made uh, in the recent years, uh, although uh, it needs to be made from the roots uh, upwards. Uh, it's a known fact that uh, women um, are not entering uh, STEM uh, university uh, degrees, and uh, there should be work done on helping them to do so. Uh, introducing them to um, uh, STEM uh, science uh, s and um, in general uh, there is a recognizable change in terms of conferences and panels that uh, are happening within the world of data science uh, for example even data science uh, Serbia here uh, the conference uh, annual conference this year is having a keynote speaker woman um, we having uh, trying to make it more balanced uh, uh, it's a conference that was new to me last year. I came uh, and was invited speaker last year for the first time. Uh, and this year I had the opportunity to be included in uh, the organization committee. So uh, people are recognizing uh, the importance of having more women representatives uh, within uh, those circles uh, because they can bring um, a fresh way of thinking. So in general, um, the data science communities are uh, recognizing, in particular our community uh, is really, really good community in supporting uh, women uh, presentatives, uh, representatives uh, within um, the community and uh, we have task force uh, Art Forwards that is uh, dedicated for helping young girls to get into uh, STEM, i.e. data science industry. Uh, and uh, in general, through our ladies, uh, we're trying to uh, recruit more women to uh, not just be part of the community through uh, presenting their work, but rather mentorship and uh, generally developing uh, programs and uh, programming skills and contributing to, to the world of uh, our, uh, our programming language. Uh, I imagine perfect working environment for a woman in technology to be like the one I have created for myself, uh, where you can balance between being a mom and uh, your work. Um, it's an uh, environment that is flexible uh, because uh, you can work on your projects uh, when it suits you, uh, as long as the projects are done. Uh, also, you can easily, through the technology, be connected with people uh, that uh, are relevant uh, for the projects you're working on. So really there's no need uh, to be uh, nailed at a particular desk from 9 till 5. Uh, it's that flexibility that data science is allowing you to have. Mm -hmm. um, what, would you have any advice for girls thinking about studies in technology? Uh, my advice would be um, try it and uh, see how far you can get a away with uh, all the ideas that would come to your to your mind and uh, if you really do like it just um, don't give up and uh, carry on. Okay. Uh, can you tell us more about your project Sister Analyst? 
Um, it's a new project and I uh, really have great hopes uh, for it. Uh, it's something that uh, I recognize uh, is needed uh, and it's actually linking with the questions you just asked me previously uh, in terms of uh, young people. Often uh, young girls, uh, they don't see role models, women uh, role models who uh, would inspire them to uh, dive into the science and in particular uh, data science. And uh, through Sister Analyst we are trying to connect uh, educational programs with businesses where businesses would collaborate uh, in a way that they would uh, provide projects that uh, girls would be able to work on uh, so they would be able to develop their portfolios. Uh, so uh, Sister Analyst is focused on uh, data literacy so whatever your discipline is we're trying to empower you uh, in your discipline through the data science. So for example if you are an archaeologist uh, we will try to show you how to get uh, access to the relevant data that uh, would be of interest to you, how to do um, data mapping, uh, visualizations, etc., etc., explorations that would be of interest to you, that would enable you to explore beyond the obvious. Uh, so uh, we will try to um, run the courses that would be free for the young girls uh, who are uh, in higher education or have just recently finished. And we will try to build their portfolio by asking uh, businesses to provide projects that they could work on, also providing mentors for them uh, when working on those projects uh, with possibilities um, if they uh, match each other in terms of skills and uh, um, companies' business, uh, maybe internships or maybe even uh, further employments. Uh, so Sister Analyst uh, is starting here in Serbia, but idea is to uh, an ambition is to be of a regional or maybe even a bigger uh, character. So we will have, and we already have uh, managed to get contacts uh, and uh, collaboration with local businesses here in Serbia, but obviously with uh, me being uh, uh, living in UK for a period of time, I do have also connections with the businesses from UK who are interested in supporting this initiative. Uh, needs uh, exactly in that that uh, there is a lack of girls uh, in uh, data science. Uh, data science is a science that has uh, appeared about 10-15 years ago and uh, it's already now a shortage of data scientists so it has a really uh, good opportunities for future employability uh, and um, in general uh, with digitalization and all the data that's going around us uh, it's uh, very important for uh, people to be uh, data literate and in particular uh, I would like to empower girls in their uh, disciplines uh, to prosper and to uh, basically manage to fulfill all their ambitions by being data literate and uh, being exposed uh, to some role models, women who are already in businesses and who are doing those kind of things already. Uh, well, that uh, project is basically uh, born out of uh, all those initiatives that I have been uh, working on, starting with our ladies, uh, and then coming here to uh, Belgrade um, and um, getting to know people from Data Science Serbia and conversations uh, I had with them. Uh, there is a lack of educational programs for children, uh, and also through uh, Art Forward's uh, initiative uh, that I'm part of. I realized that the initiative of this kind would be would be useful uh, and um, in particular it would be nice to have something that uh, would uh, be focused uh, on young women and uh, young students. I uh, introducing um, idea would be also uh, to see if it would be possible to run some after school clubs where uh, students in high schools would be introduced to uh, data science and uh, show them the importance of uh, data literacy so it's not just going on Facebook and um, uh, socializing which is great but also being aware of the information you're giving the data that's uh, been passed how you can make a use of it for yourself etc etc uh, so we really have a great ambitions and uh, we're hoping to start uh, realizing them uh, from the beginning of next year we're already doing uh, some of the workshops uh, that were in line 
uh, with uh, what I have been doing in the past uh, year or so, uh, but hoping to really get some fundings and to uh, make this um, successful.